All right, I think it is time that I discuss and kind of do a tutorial about Model Bench this time. So, if some of you guys don't know, there is a Minimator user called Sharpwin who made a tutorial I like two days ago or yesterday over how to do body extrusions in Model Bench. I have an easier method that works just the same, but there's a small catch at the very end of the video. I will talk about that. Line. Basically, I want you to scale down the UV as much as possible, okay? Change the grid size to 0.21 so you can mess with the inner values. So this is a very small now. You can squeeze the entire texture into this one pixel. Now it should be somewhere in here. Yeah, this little tiny cube. We can go for pivot offset. Oh, Jesus Christ. And now what we should do is go for scale and scale up the X all the way to 4. Scale up the Y all the way to 4. And we have one of our extrusions. Now, of course, if you want to position it, go for pivot offset to minus one. Always the pivot offset. Duplicate this shape, make it go one slot to the right, and now in here, the pivot offset should also go for 0.25 because we're gonna move this 0.25 pixels onward. We're gonna make this each pixel into its own extrusion. All right, so as you saw, he proposed or suggested that you have to do surfaces instead of doing anything else. Instead of using 3D surfaces, you have to do pixel by pixel by pixel with surfaces, which to me is way too time consuming, especially if you are like me, that tends to over extrude my rigs to give um, a better look to it. That's just how I do it. I tend to do over extrusions. So with that method, that would take me forever. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about my method of how I do my body extrusions and hopefully it'll help you guys out. So I'm going to create a new project. I'm just going to call it a model, model bench test. We're going to use a Steve, obviously. The skin, um, I already downloaded one that I tried finding a good skin that I can sort of go in depth with which ignore the <laughs> ignore this we're not gonna actually care about none of this stuff so I'm just gonna delete those because who cares right you don't need your you don't need your legs um so pretty uh, I just deleted that because there's no point this tutorial isn't gonna be explaining how to do arm extrusions and all that you should you guys should know how to do that this is just gonna be a, a more in-depth tutorial discussing how I do my body extrusions now, like I said before, Sharpwind suggested that you do 3D surfaces, right? Or use surfaces for body extrusions. And you have to first create an entire stomach with surfaces. And then do the extrusions with 3D surfaces, but with pixel by pixel. To me, sorry, I did not mean to hit my mic. Um, I'm doing like a, a lot of hand gestures while doing this tutorial. All right, um, so for this method, you have to understand with the basics of Model Bench in general. When I say the basics, I'm talking about how dimensions work in Model Bench, which they're pretty simple. They are very, very easy to understand. And you'll see why um, you need to know that in a sec. But right now, let me say this. When you are doing body extrusions, as you guys know, if you parent a part or an object to a body, there's no there's no checkbox on the object itself to parent it on the upper half. Meaning, if I move this all the way up, right? If I just move this like right here and I were to bend the body, it'll kind of do it, but see how for some reason it's like a little wonky. You can do this. Uh that's how people would originally do body extrusions but the thing is that surfaces whether they're 3d or not tend to bend a little funny whenever you do the upper body proportion so the way how I do it is I always do 3d surfaces for the bottom portion the portion that isn't going to be affected by the bending which you can just position it down or do something like this even though the object is kind of squash bending with it, you can always rely on that because sometimes whenever you do body extrusions, it will break. 
So that's why whenever I do my 3D surfaces, I tend to just do the lower part as a 3D surface, like so. Because the reason why I do this is because I know this isn't going to get affected by the bending. See, if I were to bend this, this isn't moving with it at all. But granted, for some reason, the bending size on this is really dumb. Let me lower it. There we go. It should be six. I don't know why it's like the bending size is so freaking much. But anywho. Um, so yeah, when you bend it, this lower portion should not be affected by it. You can go, I think, one pixel more. One pixel higher, I think, and it will be fine. Let me see. I don't, yeah. One pixel more and you'll be fine. So the way how I do it is the last three of uh, three layers of pixels on the bottom portion of your stomach or your body. That's what I do uh, 3D surface extrusions for. So I'm going to do the same thing on all sides. So I'm just going to get this little portion and then I'll do the same on the other side. So this will just take me a few seconds, not that long. Um, whether this is the, is this the right side? No, it's not. So I'm just going to mirror it because I'm lazy. Um, there we go. Um, I know that this is like really thick. Um, <laughs> this is a really thick uh, farmer uh, overall looking thing. But I'm just making it thick to just uh, exaggerate it more so you guys can get understand the tutorial. So now that you, oh wait, hold on. I forgot the back. Oops, hold on. Let me do this portion as well. Last three. All right, so now that you did this, this looks retarded as hell. I know, this doesn't, this looks disgusting, right? Like, oh, this this isn't what I wanted. Well, we haven't gotten to the upper por portion yet. This I needed to explain separately. The way how I do my upper body extrusions is I do textured cubes. That's right, I, I do my very own textured cubes when it comes to this sort of stuff. But the thing is, whenever um, I do my, my body extrusions on the upper portion, granted, I don't use 3D surfaces because 3D surfaces bend funny, or they tend to break whenever you use bending, which you should know this, or just it's just like a fun fact. Fun fact, if you do upper body extrusions whenever you have a bending point, whatever, it will break very, very bad. So, what I do, like I said, is I construct each row out of cubes. So I'm going to quickly do this in paint.net. I already had it open. So like I said before, the last three pixels is what you want to be out of 3D surfaces. So when you open up paint.net, you got to ignore these last three. You want to extrude everything up to here. Now, as I said before, when you are doing stuff out of cubes, you have to understand how dimensions work with Model Bench, which is very basic and very simple. So, see how I just took, hold on, I'll redo it. Since we're ignoring these last three rows, you have to pay attention to everything up here. So what I do is I basically extract or take out each um, row of pixels, which if it's easy, this method is easy if you're having like a big, like um, this row right here, this is all the same width and the same height of pixels. So you can just take this huge chunk, you can make, you can take this big old boy and just do it like that. And then you gotta do the same thing over here. Just move this over. Um, you do have to do it with here as well. You can do it with um, any thick rows like this. That's what I love about this method. This is what makes the method very easy because you can just take out rows that are either the same width or the same height and it will work because you're just doing cube dimensions. That's all you're doing. So now that I took out, which let me make sure this is right. Uh, this first row should be here. Okay. Now that I did that, what I just did was I took each row of pixels that are the same width and the same height and just put them by themselves over here. It's whatever. With cube dimensions, you have to duplicate this, the same thing that you just did, three times. 
then you have to take the top pixel put it up top and then put one here this white box thing that I just put is the bottom which you'll understand when I open it up in model bench so now that I did that little example uh, let me whoops what did I just do I mean to do that sorry uh, let me fix this okay there we go so pretty much what I did which why is there a hat layer let me get rid of that there we go all right so what I did was I took this little row of cubes right here separated it and made a little cube dimension out of it which if you are not used to cube dimensions this is uh, a way for you to get used to it whenever you're messing with the I think it's the UV whenever you're messing with this and you're moving it and scaling it around is when you will know like okay this is how how thick the cube needs to be so see how I made this one row of extrusions all by itself like so you can do this is pretty much how I do my extrusions and you just have to continue the process throughout the entire rig I'm only gonna do the front I might do the back depends how much time I have been taking up to do the front because it's not that hard but sometimes it's a little confusing and one thing that you have to be aware of is when you are messing with the height it's best to leave the height at zero so you just only mess around with the pivot leave the position at zero and just leave the pivot like this now once you I'm gonna fast forward me doing this process because I'm doing this exact same thing but throughout the whole front which I'm just doing thick layers which now that I think about it I should have done these separately just this chunk so I will quickly do that I will fast forward to this so you will see the entire front Alright, there we go. So, that's pretty much all uh, for the front. I can, I guess, do the back. I don't know. Um, the back, actually, I can do that. that. That shouldn't take me that long. But, this is pretty much what you're doing. You are just understanding how cube dimensions work with model bench which is pretty easy since it's literally labeled front top bottom right left so just mess around with paint.net so you can understand like how to texture it right so that way all sides of it will be a textured cube and like i said the bottom only the last three layers the last three layers of pixels should be actually a 3d surface everything else should just be cube textures that's just that just looks like it's an item sheet or a 3d surface um i guess i can do the back um yeah i have enough space down here all right i'm gonna fast forward and i'll repeat the same process which if you are confused when you're doing thicker chunks like this like i said just line up the front face and just figure it out because it's not that hard you guys you guys are capable of figuring out how cube dimensions work because this model bench makes it very easy to understand it uh, I'm gonna fast forward again and I'm gonna completely do the back as well because I might as well so you guys can see the bending extrusions work Let me move this over here. All right, 
Now that I did the extrusions for the front and the back, and I already said before, last three pixels, 3D surfaces, the last three. That includes the sides, which the sides are bothering me how freaking chunky they are. So let me just scale it a little bit. There we go. Um, anywho, now that you did this, now you're probably wondering, oh, if I'm bending it, if I bend the body, it kind of works, right? It looks like it's, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of going there. It's, it's bending with it, bending along with it now. Kind of. If I save the model, which let me... Oof, that would suck if this crashed. I'm gonna just call, name it Model Bench Test. I already have my animator open. Let me, open, let me import the model. Model Bench Test. Okay, this is the test model. So if I were to bend the body, whoops, not that. If I were to bend the body, it works. It bends with it. Oh, but wait a second. Why is it bending like this? Um, this is why the process does somewhat work, but not entirely. If you do just plainly this. I did find another solution for when you fully bend it or exaggerate the bending. There's not like ugly gaps right there. So what I did was I created, oh uh, hold on, I done goofed, um, I think you gotta mess with the, if, when you're, when you're doing all this, if there's still a little bit of goof up going on here, you probably have to mess with your bending size. It depends on the amount of extrusions that you have going on, which, ignore whatever that disgusting thing is up top, just uh, pay attention to the body point right here which looks like the bending size just needs to be reduced just a little bit more so actually we're gonna stick with the default bending size the default bending size is four let me see I think it needs to be one actually probably has to be one the bending size hold on let me see if now this works depending on the okay why isn't this doing anything there we go okay depending on the amount of extrusion that you are doing is how much you have to mess around with your uh, body bending thing which for this it looks like I should have gone one pixel less because I did three pixels high I think I need to mess around with the bending offset I think it's 1.5 that should work you don't want whatever this is, like it clipping through. Or I can just mess with the bending offset. And hopefully that should work. Um, this should work easier now. So if you, this method does work completely fine. But sometimes you will get a little, like a few slip ups. Because depending on the extrusions that you are doing, since this is like an entire body extrusion, you have to mess with your character's offset and bending point. But if I bend it sideways, the extrusion works. If I do it full back, if I do it, if I bend it forward, the extrusion works. And if I do it this way, it works. So the extrusions do work. Um, it just depends on the amount of extrusion that you're doing and also I made this really thick <laughs> I made this uh, this extrusion like super thick I should not have because if you make it really thick you're gonna get some little skin clips like this which if you do that you can just scale it so like for example I'm just gonna go to I think it's this point these two parts and I'm just gonna scale it to 0.99 or not 0.999. It doesn't look like anything's wrong, but when I bend it this way, you shouldn't get that skin clip. Let me see. I now you still do a little bit, but uh, nonetheless, this does work with all bending axes. The side to side works perfectly fine. If you do this, perfectly good. But the thing is, um, you shouldn't, there shouldn't be any reason for you to go overboard with this. 
and my friend Farian, I think. Oh, hold on, I'm getting a text. <laughs> Mid tutorial, are you kidding me? Alright, anyways. Um So yeah. Um this extrusion process does work. And all you need to do is just reconstruct each layer of pixels as chunks instead of you doing pixel by pixel by pixel by pixel which you would first have to reconstruct the stomach the the stomach out of the surfaces and then do this which is way too time consuming I'm sorry sharp wind for me throwing shade but The fuck? Sorry, my friends just texting me mid tutorial. All right. Um. So yeah, this process does work. It does take a little bit of time. It's not like super super easy to where you can like. It didn't take me that long for me to do this because I have done this for quite a while, so I was able to quickly do it. But I know that this is gonna be like a beginner thing for y'all. But nonetheless. Uh, hopefully this tutorial worked and like I said before when you are bending it if the body or if the extrusions break it's because of either the amount of extrusions that you're doing or the amount of bending size that you have on your little stomach Steve thing so just mess around with your offset and your size and just refresh it in Mo in Minimator to where you get something like this where you're bending it side to side and the extrusions are still there, they are working completely fine, there's no ugly clipping, none of that crap. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Anyways, um, if you guys want me to do another tutorial on whatever, just comment down below. Um, make some suggestions I'd be happy to make a little breakdown video of how I do some stuff it could be anything after effects minimator model bench whatever but uh hopefully this tutorial helped in your guys's model bench extrusions because I personally think it's better than sharp winds because Jesus Christ that would take you forever if you did that but anyways um, I will talk to you guys later